Hey everyone, today we're going to try something a little bit different. I'm going to do a first playthrough of Isle of Arrows. It's a game that combines tiles, cards, uh, and tower defense, uh, which I'm a fan of all those things. So we're going to give this one a go and see if we can learn how to play it and see how we can do. So first, I'm just going to run through these instructions real quick. Um, protect the compass stone from waves of enemies. So this is what they're trying to get to. They are going to start at the beginning of the road, whatever road amount that you have. Place tiles, extend the attacker's path and build toward, build towers to defend. So the longer the path is, the farther they have to go, the more towers they have to go by. Use cards to place tiles. You can spend two coins to skip a card. Okay. Drag and drop, move tile, click, rotate tile. Sounds good. Cards advance to the left automatically after each wave. Sometimes it can be more strategic to let a card pass by instead of using it. Press the button to spawn the next wave of enemies. You gain plus one income after each wave. You gain one additional income for every 10 gold coins you hold. Max four. Huh. So basically interest of some kind. Bridges. Build outside the aisle using a bridge. Build over existing tiles using bombs. Tips. Tiles are randomly drawn. Make the best of what you're given. Plan ahead, but leaving gaps in roads can be risky. Having a high income allows you to skip more tiles each turn. Save gold when you can. Place each tower strategically to guarantee focus on specific enemies. Click on the timeline, top right, to see the upcoming events. Alright, sounds good. Going back, and we're going to hit play. And these are locked, so we're going to do campaign... Defend the aisle and unlock new cards. Sounds good. Select the campaign. Locked. Locked. Here we go. Oh my. Lots of stuff. An archer's oath is the freedom of death. Only the most talented bowmen are worthy of becoming defenders of the aisle. Okay. Fair enough. Let's go. No. More. Founders gain hearts every ten waves. Architects, these are all locked, so we'll do that. Protect the compass stone from waves of enemies. Nope, did this already. I'm skipping that. Okay, so enemies are starting here. They're trying to get there. We have one archer tower. And our first piece is a path. They click off, yep. Yeah. So what do I do here? I click that. I see. Um, well, how would that work? Oh, I see that can go that way. Let's go... Oh, there we go. I see now. Let's do that. Uh-huh. So how do I drop it into place? Oh, in place. Good. All right. So let's do a start wave. Is it too soon for that? Let's see what happens. That was easy. Okay. Cannon tower. Sounds good. So I don't need to rotate that. Let's put that for maximum. Yeah, let's put that there. this. No, I can't take that. That's the next thing. I see. So let's do wave. Sounds good. Okay. Dehydrate. Remove half of all water tiles. Look at the next three tiles and discard any number of them, or I can get a piece of pass. Let's do... Oh, it feels too early for the dehydrate. Well, let's just take the pass. Seems easy enough. So here, I probably want to go around that way. Why is the placement not allowed? 
Must place next to existing tiles, I see. Oh, that's a bit of a pickle, isn't it? Well, let's go there. Uh, path, so path with water. Adjacent towers deal 10% more damage and target any enemy and target the enemy with the most health. Okay. So that can't go there. Can't go there. Oh, I think I've given myself a little bit of a back in, back into a corner here. Let's do that. Flag. Extends the aisle with new ground. Some tiles have water tiles attached to them that take up extra space. Okay. So we can extend the island with this guy with water. Let's put that over here. Okay. Next wave. Wave complete. A croupier offers you to play a game of spin to win. Let's play. I do have lots of coins. I have two. Let's do that. Dart tower. Quickly launches three darts that take time to recharge. So I want my road coming down here and then down here like that. Let's put... Hmm. I can only reach those spots. That's not great.
pointy flag. Extends the aisle with new grounds. Road has to do that. Probably be skipping more of these cards. Wave two complete. Black market. Oh, I can buy stuff, I see. Well, let's buy, let's get us farther with a path. Oh, I can buy more. Let's go with another path. And that's good. Good, 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 good. Okay, I think that's not terrible. We'll put that there. We need more weapons. Destroy all adjacent tiles. Gain one coin for each destroyed tile. Hmm. What do I want? Do I? Can I destroy the flags? The flags in the water. That's probably pretty good. Place using bomb. Oh, I need to use a bomb and the quarry. Oh, I see, because it's... Yeah, let's do that. Nice. And I kept just... Uh, the size of the island stays the same. Love it. Okay, pavement. The next two tiles would be corner paths. Oh, I like that. Remove half of all water tiles, don't need that. Look at the next three tiles and discard. Well, let's do that. Okay. And I get another. Oh, I have to wait. Discard move. experience with this kind of game in the past is to try to make the path go as long as possible, winding around the existing towers so that they get multiple chances to take out enemies. And more weapons towers in this area. No one's even getting close. when fully surrounded, including diagonals. Hmm. Uh, okay. Statue. Two bombs. What is that worth? It's not a lot. Let's put him... I want a weapons tower in there. Let's put him there. 
Alright, start wave. Got him. Get that guy. Got him. Got him. I need to get these towers stronger. Come on. Flags. That's more island. Let's do... So I have to use a bomb and a bridge. So let's rotate this guy and put him here. guys out. use of that. I can put that there. Or do this. And bend him around. Let's do that. Probably a terrible idea. Oh, arrow tower. Okay, so that's worth spending two for. Let's get an arrow tower. All right, let's get that. All right, we'll do some good. Let's put him there. guys. Get him. One more. Oh, Reservoir. Cards containing water tiles can be skipped for free. Huh. Card launch. Immediately draw bonus cards twice. I don't know what a bonus card is. Oh, these are relics. I see. Yeah, let's do that one. Oh, I can skip that for free now, I see. Let's just skip that. We have a path. Can I do anything with this path? Uh, it's not what I want there. Hmm. <laughs> I'm running out of island. I probably should have kept that arrow. this. Uh, 
Okay, what does the workshop do? Gain a past title of your choice when connected to two. Alright, let's do that. So, and... Oh, I don't have two water. Oh, I used to. I don't have that anymore. Hmm. That was dumb. Connected to two water. So let's assume that that will be connected to two water at some point. Okay, start wave. Uh, actually, let's spend two gold on that, get that path, put that there, really extend that. Okay. Oh, yeah, more weapons over here. score based on oh it's a little bit of everything cool what does that do I get to look at the thing oh I can move around take a screenshot of that Well, that was the first time. Could probably do better next time, I'm sure. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.